Never doubted Bruce McNall's ability to get what he wanted. Those doubts were put to rest last night. The man expected to go number one in the NFL draft this afternoon is now an Argonaut. Raghiv Rocket Ismail has signed a four-year, $26 million deal to play in Toronto. He's the highest paid player in any pro team sport in North America. Until just recently, it was a foregone conclusion that Rocket Ismail would go number one in the National Football League draft. But as far as football watchers in the U.S. are concerned, the unthinkable has happened. Last night, Rocket Ismail decided to lift off and land as a member of the Toronto Argonauts of the Canadian Football League. The contract is in American, not Canadian dollars. The man most responsible for bringing the Rocket to Toronto is Argonauts owner Bruce McNall. So while NFL Commissioner Paul Tagliabue was announcing that Miami defensive tackle Russell Maryland was picked by Dallas first overall in New York, Bruce McNall and Team Rocket were drafting up their own plans at a news conference in Los Angeles. Those plans called for the Rocket to make as much as $26 million over four years with the Argonauts. At least $18 million of that is guaranteed through football and other services he performs. So how does this contract stack up? Rocket will make a base salary of $4.5 million a year with incentives bringing that up to six point five. Joe Montana was the highest paid player in football at $3.75 million. The money is important, but for Rocket, it's more than that. The culture diversity there first impressed me, but then it was like, when I met people there and people didn't even know who I was, when I met people there, it was like, they looked beyond this, you know? It was like they looked within your character and your fiber of your being, and that's a feeling that a lot of people, unless you're in my position, you don't you can't relate to, but believe me, it's a real good feeling, and that just made me feel very comfortable, and that inside, I mean, in my life, things have happened where people are like, why you do this or why, but, uh, you know, they turn out to be the right decisions, and it's because inside, you know, I did a lot of praying and everything, and uh, talking with my family, it felt right. With the Argonauts and the CFL plodding along, Ismail will do more than catch and run with footballs. Owner Bruce McNall expects a big return for his investment, but he knows he's taking a big risk. Uh, we do have a league that uh, needed a little uh, shot in the arm, and mm -hmm. uh, that's John and Wayne and myself, and we bought the team, so we've got to do some things to make it happen, and, and uh, Sonny Rocket is one of those things. Sure, it's a risk, but uh, you can put a lot of uh, bodies in those seats in Toronto. It is a, a large facility. It's a, it's a wonderful place to play, and uh, that's one of the reasons we can probably afford to, uh, to go a little bit more on the limb than the NFL team could. Ismail will no doubt help fill the seats at the Sky Dome. Whether he can do more for the team and the league remains to be seen. But for once, the Argos have a leg up on their rich Toronto cousins, the Blue Jays. Kelly Gruber, until last night, was the highest paid athlete in Toronto. <laughs> that changed in a hurry, didn't it? Sure did. The Blue Jays were thinking sweep when they pulled into County Stadium in Milwaukee today to wrap up a three-game set with the banged-up Brewers. As if their injury situation wasn't bad enough, the Brewers found out today the slugger Paul Molitor is out of commission with a groin pull. Milwaukee manager Tom Tribblethorn has to feel like Florence Nightingale at a World War I infirmary. They were all tied up at, one, at three in the fifth inning when Joe Carter gets a hold of a pitch from Kevin Brown. And it, oh, it's something else. It's a two-run single double here by Lee. Okay, now the bullpen caves in. In the eighth inning, Brewers down 8-6. Bill Spires lines a Jim Acker pitch in a right center field. Jim Ganter and Greg Vaughn cross the plate. They were all tied up at eight. Then, bottom of the tenth, Frank Wills serves one up to Robin Yacht. He delivers a three-run homer to left. The Brewers come back to win it 11-8. Where is Tom Hank?